Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read, and today I'm going to be doing the top five sci-fi books or series that I have read so far. So like I said, these are all books or series that I have read so far. I'm sure there are a lot more other books in this genre out there, but these are my personal top five. My first video that I did in this kind of series of top fives was dystopian, and that video went over really well. I got to get a lot more dystopian recommendations from people in the comments, and just overall see what they thought of my choices. Apparently the fifth wave is not a good choice, but anyways, the rest of my choices were pretty good. So. I'm excited to share with you guys what sci-fi books I've really enjoyed, and hopefully they are on your list as well. I don't know what will be on your list, but I'm curious, so if I don't mention any of the books that you're thinking in your head right now, definitely let me know in the comments down below what your favorite sci-fi books are, because I really like this genre and I'm always looking to find more, like, hits. Anyways, with that, let's get started. So, the first book or series. I'm going to say the whole series is obviously the Red Rising series. This is like my calling here on booktube and I pump this book up a lot. It's my favorite book and I have it in paperback. I also have it in hardback, the whole series. But yeah, I just like, I adore this book. It's so fantastic. And if I could put it in like a synopsis for somebody that's never heard of it before, I would say it's kind of like a twist on the Hunger Games set in space and dealing with like Roman gods. And the whole like society is split up by like a color system, which I think is really cool. So this book is definitely my favorite. And I think it would be so cool if I could author interview Pierce Brown on this channel. That's like goals. <laughs> so if that ever happens, guys, just know that I'm gonna be like hardcore fanboying the entire time. But yeah, anyways. This is my top one. Then I also have The Martian by Andy Weir. This book is a standalone and it was fantastic. I picked this book up because I was part of like an Instagram book club and I had actually won the book for that month because they do they did like a giveaway of the book for each month and I happened to win it. So I was like, okay, well I might as well read it this month. And it was fantastic. Like I had no expectations going into this book and I was blown away. This is about, it's fiction, it's about a guy named Mark Watney and he is on like a space team on Mars, but he accidentally gets left behind on Mars where when his team leaves. And so the whole book is like him trying to survive on Mars without his space team and trying to just like do a whole bunch of makeshift stuff to get through day to day living in space on Mars. And it's just, it's so cool. He's so resourceful and it's just, he's also like really funny, which... I find interesting because like for somebody stuck in like a life or death situation, he's just like cracking jokes all the time. But I think he's doing it because like he's very frustrated with the situation and he needs to make light of what's happening to him. So this book was really good. I would strongly recommend this book to everybody, honestly. And it's a standalone. So you could just pick it up, read it, and then you're not committed to a huge series. Then we have a new recent favorite series. And this is the Illuminae Files. Now I've read Illuminae and Gemina and I, like my mind was blown reading both of these books. I flew through them. They're so good. They're told in like multimedia format. So that makes it even more fun to like get through the storyline. And I just, I can't really say much about them because I don't want to give anything away for any of the books in the series. But essentially in this book, the first one, um, it's like a colony on a planet that is attacked by this other corporation and then they all get into like a spaceship to try and escape but they're being hunted down by this corporation. At the same time, their ship has an AI system that's kind of going on the fritz and doing what it wants and kind of just like thinking that it knows best. And so there's a whole bunch of crap that goes down in this book, but it is so good. I was just like, I was turning pages so fast through this series. And I'm really excited to read Obsidio, which is the last book. I don't know. I think I might be reading it in December because I just finished Gemini and I was like, I need to read the next one now. I need it. <laughs> so yeah, I really, really enjoyed this series so far. And yeah, I would strongly recommend this. I've been actually telling all my friends about this series and I'm like, 
you need to pick up this book. One friend in particular, this is like exactly what he would enjoy. So I'm trying to convince him to get it. But yeah, this is a really good one. Then, of course, we have some Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Everybody knows that, like, I love this book and I've talked about it so much over this year. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I read it in February. And ever since then, I've been talking about it nonstop. It's just such a good book. Like, the main character, Spensa, is the funniest, like, I don't know how to explain her. She's just, she's so, not witty, but she's like, She's got a fire burning inside of her and she has passion for being a pilot and it comes out in the funniest ways with her like social interactions because she is pretty socially awkward but also very like attentive at the same time. It's hard to like explain her character but she is such a joy to read <laughs> and there are other characters in this book like Doomslug. Oh my heart goes to that thing. I don't really know what I don't know if it has a gender, but anyway, Doomslug's awesome. And there's other characters in this book that I just super enjoy. So this one is about a colony on this planet. And what they have to do is they train to be pilots to fight these aliens that are like constantly attacking this planet. And so Spensa, her father was actually a pilot, but he like abandoned his group and they had to shoot him down and kill him. And so everybody like doesn't, think that Spencer is going to live up to anything and they kind of like have branded her a coward because of her father's actions and so she wants to become a pilot to prove everybody wrong and show that she's not a coward. The society in this book is honestly pretty messed up and I that's something that I like really enjoyed about the book because I was like wow this situation that she's in and the way that these people think is kind of ridiculous and but they've been trained to like think this way and they've been taught to be this way so it's just it's interesting to see characters like deal with these moral dilemmas and move forward from that but yeah I really did enjoy this book I'm really looking forward to the next book I haven't read the sequel to it yet it is on our shelves but I just haven't gotten to it yet but I am looking forward to it and I think I will really enjoy continuing on in this series and even if you just read this book as a standalone, I still think you would enjoy it. Like it's, it's good. And then lastly, I chose the author more than the books because, well, I only have two books by this author, but it was really hard for me to choose which one was better because I really enjoyed both of them. And so those books are Dark Matter and Recursion by Blake Crouch. These books are such mind benders. Like I, oh, they were so intense and I just didn't know how to feel after I finished reading these books. In Dark Matter, the main character, it begins with him waking up and somebody telling him like, welcome back. And then he's thrown into life where nothing is familiar to him and his family isn't his family and he has a different job and things are just not what they seem to be. And so he is kind of going through trying to figure out what's going on because he has all these memories of like another life with other relationships and now he's in this one that doesn't just seem very right. And so yeah, it's like the story of him trying to like go through and figure out what's going on. I'm not going to give you any more. I don't want to say anything that will give this away, but like this book was a mind bender. And that's like it was a mind bender in a good way. I was like hooked line and sinker. I couldn't put this book down. So I would recommend this one. And then we have Recursion where it's kind of a similar concept, but in this one, it's a detective trying to solve this case where people have this thing called false memory syndrome, where they have a set of memories of a life they've never lived. And it kind of like makes them go insane a little bit. And so he's trying to solve this case where he has to team up with a neuroscientist to figure out what's going on. I'm not going to say anything else. There are some really intense scenes in this book and like it, like Blake Crouch, I think he's like the master of mind bending from sci-fis that I've read. I'm sure there are other mind bender sci-fis out there. And if there are, and you know of them, put it in the comments down below because I, I love books like this and I would definitely pick those up. But yeah, this book was really good. I buddy read this and all of us, when we were reading it, we're just like, whoa, this book is intense. I like, I don't know what to think. Oh my God, like that, that was pretty much all the comments in our 
group chat as we were going along. Anyways, those are my top sci-fi reads that I have read so far. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below what your top sci-fi reads are because I always want more sci-fi reads. This is a genre that I really enjoy picking up and I just want to experience more of this genre because I know there are more out there. Also, a lot of the sci-fi reads that I have lean more towards young adult and I know that there are some good adult sci-fis out there. So let me know what those ones are so I can look for them next time I'm at the used bookstore. Cause yeah, I want to experience that as well. And that's it for my video guys. If you want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as a spot to buy bookmarks. You know the drill, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you know when I post new videos. I post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading. Oh,